Once upon a time, in a kingdom not too far away, there lived a king, a queen, five princesses, and one lonely prince. The prince would spend days and nights being tortured by his sisters. Sometimes they just wanted to tease him. But other times they would dress him up in sparkly dresses and paint his fingernails. Oh, he thought, if only I weren't the only prince and the youngest in the royal family, too. <laughs> he wore a brave face. But everyone knew he would rather be riding horses and playing swords than perfecting the same domestic duties as his sisters. His parents tried to distract him with jungle safaris and adventurous geological expeditions, but nothing could take the place of a real brother. One night, the king and queen sent a special request to order a new prince from the factory. They knew it would take a long time to make a perfect prince, but they could be patient. The royal couple were so excited that they couldn't help but let the rest of the family know they had a surprise coming. When they told the family the surprise was coming from a distant land, the prince imagined that maybe a guest was coming to visit from China. But, he thought, if it was a real raccoon, he could play with it all day long. Or maybe, maybe if they bought a monkey, it could teach him all the tricks of the jungle. But then he had another thought. What if they send the wrong surprise? What if it's something scary? Like a scarecrow? Or a wicked witch? Or worse yet, a scary monster? The family tried to wait patiently. But they had to call for updates from time to time. They got ready day after day in anticipation of the new arrival, only to be disappointed by a changing deadline. One day, when the queen was ready to burst with anticipation, she demanded that ready or not, the package must be delivered. She called her special advisors on what she should do. Knowing that the queen was not to be trifled with, they gave her a magic potion that was sure to bring the end of all her waiting. Soon after she took it, the whole earth started shaking, and the entire royal family all ran for cover. Except the king and the special advisors who stayed faithfully by the side of the queen. At first, the queen was not afraid of the great tremors in the kingdom, because she knew that this was the signal passed down from hundreds of queens before that a special delivery was about to be made. Soon, however, the shaking and quaking increased in intensity and the queen tried to run away as well. She scrambled under her covers in an effort to distract herself. But the commotion followed her to bed. She ran to the bathroom hoping to forget about the movements within but they followed her to the bathroom. She jumped into a hot bath, trying to alleviate some of the tremendous excitement, but it followed her to the bath. Finally, after 30 magnificent minutes of courage and bravery, the queen could bear it no longer, and she let out one great groan of strength. And suddenly, everything stood still. The only thing that could be heard in the quiet of the kingdom was the beautiful sound of a royal arrival. The special advisors and the king were very happy to be present when the delivery was made. They whirled and whisked, patted and pried, and soon the precious package was measured, weighed, and unwrapped ready to be presented to the royal family. Each princess took a turn coming to visit. They were curious, and they could not contain their excitement in discovering the wonder of their parents' surprise package. When they saw that it was a baby, they immediately wanted to know, was it a prince or a princess? 
they were easily delighted with the tiny hands, the perfect feet, the darling smile, and the soft, soft cheeks. Most of them had been sure it was probably a princess. Finally, it was the turn of the prince to see what incredible thing had been delivered in his absence. When he arrived in the palace room, he was looking in anticipation for a raccoon or for a monkey. But what he found instead was even better. It was the happiest thing he could have ever imagined. There, lying in the arms of the queen, was another prince, a special brother of his very own. In that moment, the prince knew that life would never be the same for any of them. The end. Or rather, <laughs> another beginning. Are you happy to have a brother? <laughs> <laughs>